did you know, talking about how little things are hidden right in front of you, did you know that if a, if a cop pulls you over and he comes up to your car and he's going to write you a ticket, and, of course, you're expected to pay the ticket. Well, when he's writing you the ticket, he's writing the ticket out, and then he signs it, and then hands it to you, and then you sign it. What you <laughs> don't realize is you are an undersigner. You are a co-signer. Co-signer. Which, you bet. Yeah, you're a co-signer. You signed it under his name. He signed it first. It's his ticket. You didn't print the ticket. It was his <laughs> ticket. He printed it, and he signed it, and then he handed it to you so you could co-sign it. Well, when you co-sign it, you're now expected to pay it. But suppose I go into a store, and I go with you, and you want to buy something, uh, a small boat, and but you can't pay for it. You don't have enough money. And so you ask me to co-sign for you. What that means is if you don't pay for it, I have to if I co-sign. And so when the cop gives you the ticket, you co-sign it. He signed it first. It's his ticket, so he signed it, and you co-signed it, which means I've seen it done. I don't know how to do it. I wouldn't even fool with it myself, but I've seen it done where you take that ticket and photocopy the ticket, put uh -huh. it into some kind of an affidavit, and send it to the Department of State. Send it to the Secretary of State in the state that you live in, and just say, I have decided I made a mistake, and I don't want to co-sign for this guy. And the Secretary of State will take that ticket and give it to the Treasurer, Secretary Treasurer in the state you live in, and that person will then send the ticket to the cop's house and he has to pay it because he's the one that had the ticket he's the one that signed he's, it. you he's the primary it. he's the primary responsible yeah that's right he's the primary responsible to to pay the ticket it's his ticket and he's the one that signed it <laughs> oh so this you're is the funny -sign it. yeah so then you just tell the secretary of state i've decided i made a mistake i don't want to co-sign for this guy i don't like him I've decided I don't want to co-sign. So then the Secretary of State will send it to the particular mm -hmm. official in charge of the of your uh, state's uh, money, your, uh, your financial Yeah, the Treasury. Secretary. Yeah, and then that person will send the ticket to the cop's house, and he has to pay the <laughs> ticket. <laughs> has this happened? And I, yeah, and it happened. I <laughs> saw it happen in Hollywood. My huh. friend, who was an extraordinarily brilliant young man, incredibly brilliant young man, and <clears throat> and we were driving down in Hollywood one day, and we saw and we saw a police car, and so he said, "Well, watch this." So he purposely makes a left turn illegally, which catches the cop, catches it, and so the cop pulls him over. And it comes up to the car, and with this ticket, he's writing out a ticket. And then my young friend said, <clears throat> oh, incidentally, officer, I have down here, and he reached down on the floor, and he said, I have an open beer can. And so the cop said, oh, really? Yeah, you smart aleck? Okay, I'll write you up for the open beer can. And then after, after he wrote him up for that, he said, and incidentally, I have a light out. If you'll go back and check it, I'll show you. I have a light out on, my, on the back of my car. Uh, and the cop couldn't figure out he's and, being set up. Jeez. No, cop did not know he's being set up. So the cop <laughs> thought that kid was being smart aleck and pompous and arrogant and smart aleck. So he said, okay, yeah, yeah, tell me what else you got so I can write you up. And so the kid that he told him, yeah, go check the light. And he said, okay, I, I got it. I wrote that down. Uh, you see the beer can, open beer can? Yep, we got that too. <laughs> and he said, okay. Well, then he, he, so he writes out the ticket, and he signs it, and he hands it to the kid, and the kid signs it. Then when we got home, the first thing the boy did was he drove over to Kiko's and photocopied it and then put an affidavit to it, a particular kind of affidavit he had on his, on his uh, computer. And sent it immediately to the, the Secretary of State in California, California Secretary of State 
and saying, I have made a mistake and I have co-signed for something I wish to re- you know, not co-sign. I want to withdraw my co-signature. And so the Secretary of State sent it to the Treasury of the state, and the, and the state sent the bill to the cop. And, and a couple of days later, I was invited over to my friend's house. We were sitting there having a couple of beers and watching TV because I loved his company because he was so incredibly brilliant. And uh, we get a knock on the door, a really violent knock on the door, and it's the cops there. And the cop is ranting and raving at him. And I was kind of laughing to myself because uh, my friend was at the door trying to keep the guy quiet. And the guy was yelling, the cop was yelling at him, what the hell is this? This is a bill? I've got to pay this bill? And he said, yeah, yeah, you pay it. I want you to get off my porch and quit yelling. And he said, I've got a wife and kids, and and, and this is an incredible <laughs> bill. And my friend said, oh, it's all right to give me a ticket because you don't give a damn about me. <clears throat> but now that I give you the ticket, now you want to cry like a baby. Get off my porch and go home and pay the bill and shut up. You don't know it to me. You owe it to the state. You better pay it. <clears throat> the guy was rent and raving as he went out to the car, giving him the finger and rent and raving and drove off. So yeah, and I you saw all works. this. This is hilarious. I, yeah, I know that it works because I saw it with my own eyes. And I asked him, I said, how did you do that? He said, oh, you just have to give them. You, have, you make them a deal they can't refuse. <clears throat> and so he told me, this kid told me about some really interesting stuff. 